<laughs> Good job. You know the real reason why I'm filming you so much, right? That shirt shows off all the hickeys I gave you? Mm. Are you ready for me to start filming? <laughs> 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 yep. Gonna do magnetic primer so we can put magnets onto the wall and stick stuff. And the magnetic primer only covers 16 square feet because in that can you have to do three coats in order to get the magnets to stick. So this is a lot bigger than 16 square feet. This is a lot bigger than 16 square feet. So we're deciding if we want to do like a square and a square or if we want to do a strip. I can, I can, I can strip. <laughs> I <to> yes, please. <laughs> We have 16 square feet, so mm -hmm. we're thinking about doing... 4 by 2 and 4 by 2? 4 by 2 and 4 by 2, so probably one here. So that by that much across. That's so five. now, Tom has to mark it out. And Jasper is supervising me. Yep, I'm the supervisor. Should I do stuff? I here. Know. I'll... There you go. I never knew five inches was so small. <laughs> yeah? Yeah! <laughs> do you want to film? No, when to do the stranger, actually, that's more fun. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, I'm glad you at least find it fun, because I find it mildly distressing, disheartening. Cute. To use the straight edge? Is it because you're not straight? Mm hmm. We got this paint box set at Home Depot. It definitely was gonna be more than $25 to get everything separately. I think this cost 10. And then I got an extra roller so that I wouldn't be doing all the work. Hey, you know what we didn't get? What we didn't get was a paint key to open it with. Do you have a screwdriver? You guys saw me asking for a screwdriver. He said it wasn't very big. He didn't say that the tip of it was literally smaller than my finger. Pretty good though for magnet coverage. Mm -hmm. Two more coats, just mm. in So we put up the magnetic paint in our two squares, and we we're trying to wash off the roller, and it made a really, really big mess. This isn't even the worst of the mess, but now we're cleaning that up. But here's where our squares are. That blob is where I was being stupid. We ran out of paint, essentially, for the third layer. So I think our first two layers were just really thick. But we bought a bunch of the little tiny magnets that I've been told work effectively well on this paint. So we let it dry for 30 minutes in between coats. And um, now we're going to let it dry overnight before we put on the chalkboard paint over this. We got a ladder. Yay. Now can finally be tall. Tom, we're painting the last coat on the wall. So, most recent update. We, he tried to film, he tried to paint the rest of the wall yesterday, and it only got to like there. You can't the even top see half. it. You can't right now. 
But we're gonna, we had to go and get more paint and we're gonna do the bottom bit now. And because there's an uneven thing, we're either gonna repaint the whole thing again or just that bit. But we had to buy a whole other can of paint. So every time we buy another can of paint, this project gets a little bit more expensive. This is the tool that we were using for edging. We definitely need the wall. It's fine. We'll just color it with white chalk. Yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Satisfied broken. Crayola chalk. So this is the chalk we have. Finished that. You can hear me listening to uh, a podcast in the background. I guess now I'll just like smear it in since we don't have an eraser. That'll make it primed, right? But yeah, essentially that's done. Mm -hmm. 